Today, I have the daunting task of trying to explain Scientology in under 10 minutes. Can she do it? Now, uh, the direction of change to be beneficial should be in the direction of simplicity. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Scientology Girl. So as you might have guessed, the episode today will be all about Scientology and what it is. Today I'm going to try and explain Scientology in my own words. Uh, no pressure. No. This video is basically for anybody who is curious about what Scientology is. And to all my friends already in Scientology. Let me take a selfie. This might be a good way to introduce Scientology to your friends who might be curious about it. So the first thing that I want to say is that everything in this video is entirely my opinion and don't take my word for it, see if it's true for you. Alright, so the first thing that you'll know about Scientology is that when you get into it, it's kind of like, hey, I kind of already knew this. You know, a lot of it is just common sense. And if you don't know, LRH is the founder of Scientology and his full name was Lafayette Ronald Hubbard. Was it Ronald? He basically started Scientology off with Dianetics, which basically means through the mind. So he didn't start with the soul or any of the spiritual stuff. He wrote a book called Dianetics. People went crazy about it. It is very wordy, so I would recommend having a dictionary nearby. Okay, so in short, the layman's uh, explanation, me, layman, <laughs> of Scientology is that there's two parts to it. There's training and there's auditing. So with training, there's a bunch of things you'll do to understand life and the mind better. You'll read a lot of books, work with clay demonstrations, or use something called a demo kit where you'll use items from around the office or home to represent an idea you're trying to show. You'll also do drills with the person training you and you'll write essays too. These things help in many ways such as confidence, stability and patience. And then the second part to Scientology is auditing. Auditing. How do I explain this without sounding batshit crazy? Okay, so it's like this. Auditing is where you and somebody else Okay, so it's probably better if I just give you a visual representation of this. Auditing is where you work with an auditor who is somebody who listens to you and is a trained Scientology specialist in the subject of the mind. He or she uses a device called an e-meter, which shows if you have mental mass. Mental mass is basically what you feel when you're upset or you have something triggered. The auditor brings your attention to these areas and basically clears it for you so it no longer triggers you in future. You told me my eyebrows suck. Okay, so now you might be wondering how and why does it help? Because it teaches you to be more interested in life and others than interesting. I'm sexy and I know it. And this spills out into everywhere. Like we just want to make a good impression everywhere we go. We want agreement. We want people to like us. But when we're focused externally on what are we like? <laughs> life becomes a lot easier to actually live. You start living and you forget about, you don't sweat the small stuff anymore. So yes, there are a lot of self-help books, there's a lot of religions, there's a lot of spirituality practices, there's a lot of therapies, there's a lot of everything that really does help. But what makes Scientology cool is that everything is sort of in one place. I mean, you can learn about studying better, relationships, work, communication, mental health, children spirituality ethics aliens and so much more so that's kind of what scientology is in a nutshell again thank you so much for all the love and support i appreciate it so much i'll see you real soon with a new video bye guys subscribe <laughs>